Happy May, everyone, and welcome to this Friday's episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and it's been a busy week in sports, so let's dive right into it. We're still in the heart of the NBA playoffs, and it's bad news for one of our local teams. The Lakers were officially eliminated from the playoffs on Monday night after a 108-106 to heartbreaking loss to the Denver Nuggets. The series was at 3-0 coming into Game 4, so the Lakers would have had to win four straight games to win the series. They pulled off a win in Game 4, but the series was ended in Game 5. Jamal Murray was questionable to play in this game for Denver, but endured through a calf injury and scored 32 points, including the game-winning shot with just 3.6 seconds remaining in the game. LeBron James led the way for the Lakers, closing out his season with an incredible 30 points, 11 assists, 9 rebounds, and 4 steals. This was an incredible back-and-forth game that featured 16 lead changes and 10 ties. The reigning champion Denver Nuggets will now move on to face the Minnesota Timberwolves, who are coming off of their four-game to zero sweep over the Phoenix Suns. The Timberwolves won all four games by at least 12 points and breezed their way out of the first round. Anthony Edwards was beyond dominant for Minnesota, averaging 31 points, eight rebounds, and six assists per game throughout the series, all capped off with a 40-point performance in game four. Game one of the matchup between Denver and Minnesota will begin tomorrow, with game two following on Monday. This series should be full of explosive plays and lots of scoring, so don't miss out. Our other local team, the LA Clippers, are still in their close battle with the Dallas Mavericks. The series was tied at two games to two, going into game five Wednesday night. In that game five, the Mavericks handedly took care of the Clippers, coming away with a 123 to 93 victory. Luka Doncic took control and led his team with 35 points, 10 assists, and seven rebounds. Game six will be tonight at 6.30, and if Dallas can't close out the series tonight, there will be a game seven on Sunday. Whoever comes out on top between the Clippers and Mavericks will move on to face the top-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. OKC just completed their 4-0 sweep over the New Orleans Pelicans, and although the games were somewhat close at times, the Thunder look very dominant and are in prime position to make a deep postseason run. Shea Gilgis Alexander has been pretty much unstoppable, leading OKC in this series with 27 points per game. The Thunder have to wait patiently on Friday and possibly Sunday to see who they will face in the next round. In the Eastern Conference, unlike the West, there have been no sweeps. The number one seed Celtics probably should have swept the Miami Heat, but Miami secured a close victory in Game 2. Other than that, the Celtics have won by 20 in Game 1, 20 in Game 3, and 14 in Game 4. Jalen Brown and Derek White each scored 25 points, and the Celtics advanced to the Eastern Conference semifinals after beating the Heat 118-84 to in Game 5 on Wednesday. Boston will face the winner of the Cleveland and Orlando series. The Orlando Magic have been in a surprisingly exciting matchup with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland picked up wins at home in Games 1 and 2, followed by the Magic picking up two wins at home in Games 3 and 4 by a combined margin of 61 points. In Game 5, Cleveland's Donovan Mitchell scored 28 points, Darius Garland added 23, and the Cavs got a much-needed win, all while outlasting a 39-point performance from Orlando's Paolo Banchero. It was too close for comfort, but Cleveland walked away with a 104-103 win and took a three-game to two lead in the series. Game 6 will be today, and if the Cavs can't close it out today, Game 7 will be on Sunday. Lastly, Game 5 for both the Bucks Pacers and 76ers Knicks series were on Tuesday night. New York and Indiana both entered the day with a 3-1 series lead over their opponents, and in both series, the leading team was unable to close out the series. The 76ers took the Knicks to overtime, and Philly secured a 112-106 win and forced a Game 6 behind a Tyrese Maxey 46-point performance, including 7 points in the final 25 seconds of regulation to tie it and force overtime. Game 6 was last night, and the Knicks are moving on to the next round after picking up their fourth win. The Bucks, just like the 76ers, managed to find a way to win and stay alive for at least one more game. Bobby Portis and Chris Middleton each scored 29 points, and the Bucks took care of the Indiana Pacers, winning 115-92. Game 6 of this series was also last night, and the Pacers have now closed out the series and are moving on to face the Knicks. Over on the ice, the Stanley Cup playoffs have been as electric, if not more so, than the NBA. The New York Rangers were the first team to advance past the first round after they swept the Washington Capitals four games to zero. Artemi Panarin had a goal and an assist in the 4-2 win in Game 4, which moved the Rangers into the second round to face the Carolina Hurricanes, who defeated the New York Islanders four games to one. Also in the East, the Florida Panthers have moved past the Tampa Bay Lightning and into the second round as well. This series had some close matchups throughout, but the Panthers dropped a 6-1 victory over the Lightning on Monday. 
The Panthers will move on to face the winner of the Boston Bruins and Toronto Maple Leafs series. Toronto managed to stay alive after picking up a crucial overtime win in Game 5, saving their season and their playoff hopes. Game 6 was last night, and the Leafs have miraculously tied the series three games to three. Game 7 will be tomorrow. On Tuesday, Miko Rantanen scored his first two goals of the playoffs in the third period, which led the Colorado Avalanche to a 6-3 victory over the Winnipeg Jets. That win clinched their opening round playoff series, and they defeated the Jets four games to one. They now move on to face the winner of the Dallas Stars and Vegas Golden Knights series. The Stars are currently up three games to two, and game six will be tonight at 7 p.m. And lastly, Edmonton and the local LA Kings have been battling it out, and game five was Wednesday night. Leon Dreisaitl scored twice for Edmonton as they eliminated the LA Kings with a 4-3 win. The Oilers will play the winners of the Canucks and Predators series, and Vancouver is currently up 3-2, with Game 6 also today at 4 p.m. I mentioned last week that this weekend is one of the most famous events in sports, the Kentucky Derby. Known as the greatest two minutes in sports, the 150th Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky will take place this Saturday. Currently, the top two horses with the best odds to win are Fierceness and Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone has won three of four career races, losing by just a nose in one race. Fierceness remains the overall favorite on the day and has won two of his last three races, including the Florida Derby in his most recent start. All the action kicks off tomorrow morning, with the first race coming at 7.30 a.m. The main event will begin at 3.57 p.m., and all the races throughout the day can be seen on NBC. To end the show on some not-so-great news, Angel Star outfielder Mike Trout is back on the injury list again this season. It was announced Tuesday that Trout has torn his meniscus in his left knee. Currently, there's no set time for Trout's return, but it's believed that the injury is not season-ending, luckily. In 2021, he had a torn calf muscle that limited him to play in just 36 games. The following year, he was able to play 119 games, but a back injury put him back on the injured list. Last season, Trout suffered a hand injury after fouling off a pitch that limited him to just 82 games. From 2021 to 2023, Trout has missed 249 games, more than half of the possible games he could play. He was off to an MVP caliber season this year, hitting 10 home runs and 14 RBIs in 29 games so far. Hopefully, it's a speedy recovery, and he'll be right back to hitting home runs soon. It's a great time in sports with all the playoffs I just mentioned going on, plus the MLB, NFL draft rumors and stories are coming out, and so much more. In the next few weeks, we'll get the start of Men's and Women's College World Series, and before we know it, the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris will begin. Personally, I cannot wait for that. With all that said, enjoy all the games and matches and events that the sports world has to offer, and come right back next Friday for more sports news, updates, and highlights. I'm Cole Young. Enjoy the first bright and sunny weekend of May, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.